typical day for me is coming in in the morning about seven o'clock and then I figure out which uh, room I'm going to be in for the day. So we're in operating room two. Um, this is a room that we use for add-on cases, cases that are not scheduled, um, cases that come up, be it from a patient that's on the floor or a patient that's in the emergency room. On a typical day, we run 15 rooms. Um, one of those is including the emergency add-on room. Working in an operating room is really, it's a team concept. Uh, so I'm constantly working with people. There's an anesthesia provider, there's a surgical tech, there's a surgeon, there could be a first assist, or there could be a surgical PA. Um, so it's always a group project to perform the case and to get the patient out safely. Good morning everyone, happy Friday. We come in in the morning, we have huddle together as a team, and then we see what our assignments are, and we um, go to, we disperse to our rooms, and we help set up rooms and everything with free people that we have. Um, we are supposed to be over for a report with a pre-op nurse at 7.20. After that, we introduce ourselves to the patient, we bring the patient back into the operating room, and we start our day. Your basic setup of equipment is you need a bovie in the room, you need a Neptune in the room, which is a suction machine, um, you need an OR table that would be specific for the procedure that you're doing. You obviously need the anesthesia setup so that we can put the patient to sleep. Um, you also need, would need an SCD machine, which makes sure the blood is still circulating throughout the patient while they're under anesthesia so that we can prevent blood clots. Kelly? We usually see the patients anywhere from, I would say, 7 to 15 minutes awake. Uh, we go over what our role is with the, with the patient. So we're in the room with the patient the entire time they're under anesthesia. We're their watchdog. Um, I think people are usually very nervous about having a procedure done here. It is their most vulnerable time because you are their patient advocate. And I think you just have to talk to them nicely and you have to build that rapport with them right off of the bat when you go to meet them and do your initial interview. I also walk them through what's gonna happen so that they have an idea so they're not like guessing, you know, what's coming next. After each case, we do a turnover, which um, we have a, a turnover team that comes in, the ORAs, uh, they will wipe everything down. It's actually a, a, a group effort. Um, the nurses, the scrub techs, we all come together and uh, wipe, wipe all the equipment down, wipe the bed down, wipe the lights down, um, mop the floors. Keeping an area sterile in the OR is very important. We have EVS that work throughout the night that terminally clean our rooms so that when we come in in the morning, our rooms are fresh and clean. I came right out of nursing school. I'm a brand new grad um, and it's been great. I've had a lot of great resources um, and it's been quite an experience so far. I plan to continue my nursing career here because they build you up, they allow you to grow. There are scholarships available, there's tuition reimbursement available for you to go back to school. New grads, I would say, uh, would have a very good experience coming in uh, to GBMC, especially the operating room, because I feel like you have a lot of uh, resources. It's a very open community or group of, of nurses, scrub techs, um, all the providers. Everybody was very welcoming. I come here both as a patient and as an employee. So my, uh, my primary care is here, my orthopedic physician's here, my wife's OB is here. I feel like it's a, a, a place where they really do practice what they preach, which is, which is treat every patient like they were family. 